What's up everybody, let's talk Jets Radio. Real quick video here, currently in line, waiting for the parking lot to open up. Excited for the tailgate today. Uh, took about an hour and a half, did my caramelized onions last night, so if you're stopping by, make sure you try them out. Also got the burgers, dogs, got some bacon, some pork belly, uh, some sausage, kielbasa, shrimp scampi, shrimp tacos, skirt steak. I uh, got some bourbon mushroom steak tips I did, so a whole bunch of shit, definitely stop by, just bring your own condiments, because you know I don't do that shit. Uh, as far as the game goes, and, and first off, apologies for missing Friday night, I had a whole bunch of shit going on, um, Tyson, Tyrone, you guys did a great job. My three keys are pretty simple, first, the Jets three big players on defense gotta actually play like big players, that's Marcus May, that's CJ Mosley and Quinnen Williams. You know, you're, you're still going up against a rookie quarterback, so it kind of works both ways. We hear more about Zach Wilson going up against Belichick, but Sal is a defensive-minded coach. He should be able to, you know, design some things, confuse Mac Jones. So hopefully the defensive players show up. You know, the secondary showed up a little bit last week. I still worry a little bit about the pass rush, but John Franklin Myers going up against a backup right tackle. I believe uh, Trent Brown's out. Quinn and Williams getting that push up the middle. Hopefully uh, things are a little bit different this week. Second key is going to be, at least for the offense, the, the big plays have to outweigh the mistakes. And Belichick, he's going to, you know, bait Wilson into some throws. I think we know that. But can they design up enough big plays? Can Zach Wilson do enough improv to make some things happen? And, and I do think that they can do that. You're getting all your weapons back. You got Crowder. You got Cole coming back, hopefully. Um, you know, I, I'm pretty sure they're both questionable, but they're both expected to play. Um, you know, Corey Davis is probably going to be the one guy that Belichick's going to look to take away, as everybody keeps saying, but Elijah Moore, he needs to have a big game. Maybe we even get the, the tight ends involved, get Michael Carter coming out of the backfield. So the Jets have some weapons. They just got to make it happen. LaFleur's got to get creative. Um, and the, the final key for me is the, the Jet fans. We, we haven't had a home field advantage in so long, and I don't really blame the Jet fan. We've been pushed out of the stadium. It's been shitty football. There hasn't really been a whole lot to be excited about, but it's, it's the home opener. There's no fucking reason for this shit not to be sold out. So uh, if you're watching this video and you live close enough, tickets are pretty cheap. Come out. Like, let's actually get this place rocking. Fireman Ed's going to be fired up. You know, we need a legitimate home field advantage. If we could get half of what we got back in, what was it, 2009, the, the Rex Ryan opener. If we could just get half of that today, I think the Jets win this game. I really do. I, I think this is one of those games where if the crowd legitimately shows up, it could make a difference, especially in the fourth quarter. So hopefully the Jet fans, we get this place rocking. I probably won't know whether or not um, you know, we're going to come out in full force or not until about you know five or ten minutes before the game. But if the Jet fans legitimately show up, I think this is a winnable game in, in spite of, you know, some of the, the mismatch, uh, mismatches uh, coming out of the backfield with James White, with, uh, you know, Hunter Henry and John Smith, the tight end. You know, I worry about that a little bit, but I still don't see the, the big play potential out of the Patriots offense. It's still a rookie quarterback. You're, you're catching them on week two as well, which I think helps. So go Jets. Let's hopefully, uh, you know, show up to play today. Hopefully they can pull this one out. I think it's going to be closer than some people think. So go Jets and definitely stop by today. Talk to you guys later.